So we're uh, carrying on with uh, mass calculations onto the Avogadro constant. So mole on the Avogadro constant, quick review of that, and then calculating the number of atoms and molecules from the mass. OK, so our review of uh, Avogadro constant, uh, remember we uh, weighed an atom, and the particular atom we weighed was the carbon-12 atom, and uh, it didn't weigh very much, so we kept adding, adding atoms until it weighed the same mass as its relative atomic mass, which is defined as 12.000 uh, grams, exactly 12, and that came out as this numerical value, 6.022 times 10 to the 23. Uh, carbon-12 atoms, and this uh, value here is a mole, and this value here is the Avogadro constant. They are the same thing. So we're looking now to calculate the number of atoms and molecules uh, from the mass. Uh, well, uh, what we've got so far is that we've got an amount, we've, we've got a conversion between mole and actual number, because that is this Avogadro number. If we want to turn an amount in mole into an actual number, you multiply by uh, the 6.022 times 10 to the 23. Of course, you could divide to go in reverse. Now, to go from uh, mass, we need to do the mass mole conversion. Well, to turn from mass into mole, you divide by the relative mass. Uh, go in the other direction. If you want the mass from the mole, you take the mole and multiply it by that relative mass. So we now have a route by which we can start from the mass. We can divide by the uh, relative mass to get our amount in mole, and then we can multiply by uh, the Avogadro constant to get an actual number of uh, atoms or molecules, depending on what you're talking about. So, for example, uh, I have uh, 10.6 grams of copper. How many atoms of copper is this? Okay, so using what I just described uh, previously, and we'll do our own version here. So let's put the mass of copper in there, 10.6 grams. Uh, then we'll divide by the MR. MR of copper, 63.55, gives, well, I've just left it as it is, 10.6 divided by 63.55. Then we're going to multiply by the Avogadro constant, which will give us 1.004 times 10 to the 23. So this here is the number of uh, th those things, copper atoms. We did the MR of copper, and uh, now we have the amount of copper in terms of uh, atoms. And uh, last example, I have uh, 0 0.821 grams of magnesium chloride. How many chloride ions are in this? So similar calculation, just uh, one thing to watch out for. Uh, we've still got our conversions the same, so mass to mole divided by MR. Uh, mole to actual number multiplied by the Avogadro constant. So in this case, uh, 0.821 grams of the MgCl2. Uh, MR of the MgCl2 is 95.218. That came from taking the magnesium, uh, which is about 24, and then adding two of the chlorines, which is about 35.5. So that's where that uh, MR comes from. Uh, so there is our mole of MgCl2 multiplied by the Avogadro constant gives our uh, actual number, so 5.92 times 10 to the 21, but uh, 5.192 times to the 10 to the 21 what, or of what? Well, if we uh, have a look uh, about that MR there, that MR there was of the MgCl2, so we have uh, 5.192 times 10 to the 21 units of the MgCl2 each of which contain two of these uh, Cl- ions, the chloride ions. So therefore, if we want to work out the amount of chloride ions, we need to do two times that number, which would give 1.038 times 10 to the 23 Cl- ions. So just to summarize here, uh, when we're doing these calculations of actual numbers, take the mass divided by the MR gives you the amount in mole, then multiply by the Avogadro constant gives you the actual number. Of course, you could always do these backwards. Uh, reversing the divides by a multiplier and vice versa. Okay, so that's it for Avogadro constant and uh, finally uh, mass calculations involving chemical reactions that will come up next.